Flip me up. All right. Yeah. I think you cut the top of my head off or no? What's up, guys? How you doing today? Welcome to another episode of JD TV Co. Take three. Having a little uh, technical difficulties today, but you know what? We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get it done right. So you guys have something to watch tonight, and I have something to do. Okay. Okay. Got a lot going on, some new stuff. And let me tell you something. When you jump in bed with JD Tico, things happen. So we jumped into bed with Vessel, right? Yeah, a couple months ago. A couple months ago, we jumped into bed with Vessel. And uh, since we jumped in bed with them and it's a match made in heaven, they send us the new stuff before it comes out. And we had to jump on a competition on this, right? Oh, the yeah. Armor Grip Screwdrivers. And these are made out of Japanese samurai steel. This is some. This stuff is some really crazy stuff. Let me tell you something. I've been selling screwdrivers my whole life, 35 years in a tool truck. I've seen every screwdriver configuration known to man. So when you see, show me a screwdriver, I'm like, I've already seen it. But you know what? They did a little something different. That's like the old school, uh, you know, like the snap-on uh, grip texture, uh, you know, the, the shape of it. But what they did is they made it have like a hard rubber. I guess they call it, what, Nick? Armor grip. Armor grip. So it's, it's nice. It's got a little give to it, and it's a JS. And this is a nice set of screwdrivers. If you walk on any tool truck in America and you say, give me an eight piece set of screwdrivers, they're going to say, it's $140, $150. And you'll be like, wow, that's a lot of money. Well, Katie Tico, what we did is we took the shopping trouble away from you. We got you a really good deal on these, $40. Wow. And we sold a lot of these. We did a pre-sale. And let me tell you something. These flew off the shelf. We got another case coming. Too. We got, and we got another case coming. I see, I see a handful over there, but we got more coming. So get on our website, JDT Co. Get on our web, our website, Jersey Discount Tool Co. Yeah. Dot com. Yes. Throw hundred dollar bills through the window and throw the change back out. Yep. Um, Cash App, Tool Dealer. What else? I miss anything? No, we're coming to the store. Bob. Come to the store, two seventy three Union Boulevard, Total, New Jersey. Okay. So that's it. So like I was saying, since we have our, since we're in bed with them. They're like, Mr. Nick, we have something else for you to look at. Let me send it to you. So they send us the old uh, rechargeable ball grip screwdriver, okay? It's a mouthful, right? A little bit. <laughs> so they, this came in, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the hell is that? So it's got the little, uh, little uh, you know, hex lock thing there, okay? So you get something tight, you'll break it loose, and then you hit the old uh, blue button. And uh, there's two of these. One's regular, one's super fast speed, I That's think, the right? High speed one. This is clearly the, the high speed one. <laughs> it's doing 100. I haven't played with the other one yet. I forgot I'd go straight for the high speed yeah. one. Yeah. So uh, what I, I did a little demo on this before myself. It's pretty cool, man. You break a screw loose and it comes right out. A uh, little mini USB port to charge it. It's really, really nice. You know how much is this? The high speed is 70 and the normal one is 65. We're doing a pre-sale on the website. Somebody already bought one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we had a guy stop in today, and uh, this guy came in. He was a really nice guy. He came in. He's looking around. He's like, do you mind if I take some pictures? I'm like, yeah, go take some pictures. And his name was A-R-Tools. A-R-Tools. A -A -A A-R Tools. A -R -Tools. A -R -Tools. A -R Tools. A -R -Tools. A -R -Tools. Super nice guy. He And he, he shot a little video while he was here. And let me tell you something. I'm ready to fire Nick and hire him. He did a beautiful job. And I'm going to give him a couple weeks, and we're going to shoot the same video and copy it. What? <laughs> but he came in, and he was a he was a super nice guy. He was a boiler fitter. But he goes, I collect German and Japanese tool. Weird combination, just saying. But he wanted to check out our vessel and our Wara. Yeah, he specifically came here. Oh yeah, he goes, I'm here to look at your vessel and your Wara tools. And then he seen Mueller Krupp. He was like, Oh, right. And he yeah. checked out Mueller Krupp. Nice guy. He was here for a minute. He looked at everything. Trust me. He bought he bought some tools. We like that when guys come in the shop and buy some tools. So if you're local, come on in. He drove from New York City. He wasn't afraid to drive. And you shouldn't be either. Okay. All right. The big buzz in the tool industry is locking pliers, a.k.a. Vice Grips, right? Yeah. Vice Grips was a new, co a new company. A company moved into the uh, old Nebraska DeWitt plant that originally made American-made Vice Grips called Malco, okay? And they're making cutting-edge Vice Grips, and they're supposed to change the industry. And Snap-on, like they always do, they quick jumped in there and put their name on the ones made by Malco also. But they gave you a little uh, convenience price tag and charged you an extra what? Dull. If you buy it from Malco, they're 40 bucks. If you buy it from your bougie tool dealer, they're 80 bucks. 
Snap on is charging you double the money for the same tool. That should be a corporate crime. It should be. That's ridiculous. It's the same tool. Cut a better deal and give a better deal to your mechanics. And let me tell you something. It's not the dealer. It's not your dealer who's ripping your eyes out. It's his company, Corporate America, who's doing it. He's got a gun in his head. He's got to sell for that, that price, right? Yeah. But the guy, the, the fat guy behind the desk, he's sitting here trying to pick out his next lake house. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on. I, I know what's going on in the business. So, yeah. So, I mean, like, hey, guys, does it really matter to you that much that it says Snap-on on it and not Malco? It's the same pliers at the same factory. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid, okay? Yeah. Okay? I don't want my customers or I don't want any mechanics or technicians out there to be bougie like your wife, like your girlfriend, okay? And all of a sudden, now you care about what the label says. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada. That makes sense? I'm sure you can go on with <laughs> But hey, guys, you're being the same way. You go walking around the mall with your chest out with Snap-on across there like, like they care about you. They don't care about you. They care about the money in your pocket. They care about double compounding your interest on a toolbox that you're never going to pay off. Did I say that? You did. <laughs> Hey, man, I, I warned you guys when you first came on here. I knew where the bodies were buried, guys. All right, listen. Let's talk tools. <laughs> I bought a bunch of these. I bought a pallet of these. They came in today. 3-inch drive, metric, 8 to 22 millimeter, deep and shallow, okay? You walk on anybody's tool truck in America, I don't care whose truck it's going to be. You're spending a lot of money. I will be posting a deal with these probably Monday or Tuesday, waiting for it to get a friend to go for a ride in the old shipping box, you know what I'm saying? It's like taking an Uber ride or a Lyft. Nick, have you ever taken an Uber ride? Yeah. Okay, so just say the Uber, the Uber ride is like 20 bucks. Yeah. Okay? And say you pick up a drunk girl at the bar and she wants to split it with you. Now, how much is the Uber ride? Half price. How much is half a half 20? <laughs> Ten. $10, right? Yeah. So like this, this, this is gonna go to your house for an Uber ride, but it's bringing a friend with it to get the old uh, Uber ride down, okay? Yeah. It's smart, it's smart, right? Yeah. Genius. See guys, I'm thinking, listen, I rack my brain out all day thinking of ways to get you tools at a better price. It's not easy sometimes, but that's what I do. <clears throat> I'm not picking out my second lake house, okay? I don't have the first lake house yet. What? No. <laughs> I do get a lake house up in uh, Old Fort New York. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Snowmobile house. Huh? Snowmobile house. Snowmobile house. My sled house. We're snowmobilers. Articat. Articat tattoo right there. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Guys, let me tell you something. You know, you know, I these things boggle my mind. Wrench extenders. Okay? There's different styles. There's longer ones. And this one here works with a half-inch ratchet, breaker bar, or you can put a wrench on it. <clears throat> and what it is, basically... You put your wrench in there like this, put a breaker bar on there, now you can get some work done. <clears throat> I like to call it the old uh, warranty checker. So if you think your snap-on tools are bulletproof, give it the old one of these babies and we'll find out what it's got under the hood, right? Yeah, don't go, you don't have to go look for a, a pipe to fit yeah, under your wrench listen, anymore. Listen, don't go look for a pipe, don't go look for a longer wrench, don't try, you know, do not do the old uh, thing over here, that's dangerous, you're gonna slip and hurt. This thing is gonna grip on it like you don't know what, and let me tell you something. $28 and we sold a bucket of these today. A bucket. We got more coming. And we got more coming. Trust me. I've been packing these things up all day. It ain't easy. But good. Because I work. I'm not lazy. I don't go home and sit on my couch and uh, watch the world go by. I go home and try to find tools. And let me tell you something. I found a lot of stuff. And our new, our next, right now, let me tell you, JT Car right now is in second gear. First, second. Okay, we're in second gear. I'm ready to pull it out, go right into the big hole, guys. I'm done messing around. I've been lazy, but it's all gonna change. I got a lot of stuff coming out, manufactured for us with our name on it, and I'm cutting out the middleman. These guys are buying stuff for two bucks and selling to you for a hundred. Me, I'm gonna put a little, little extra charge on it and get it out the door to you at a fair, reasonable price, right? Nice. That's something to do. I care, they don't. All right, last but not least, I put a deal up today. Milwaukee, M8, M12, fuel. Stubby, half inch impact, 6.0 battery. This combo is unbeatable. Okay? What I did, because I like you guys, I'm tired of seeing what's going on out there. I put it, I paired it up with a free 
flip lug socket set. One, two, three, four, five. Five piece flip. You got four, eight sizes here. Anything you want to come off will come off. Remember guys, a lug was supposed to be torqued at a certain amount of torque. It should not be anything over or near 250 pounds, unless it's a tractor trailer or a, you know something really big, okay? Any car on a road, this should take it off. And li li listen, why carry a, a 20 pound Snap-on Impact or a Milwaukee Impact when this little guy will do it for you, right? Yes. I like this. I got a lot of customers in a route that use it for this, and we have a lot of guys that walk in and tell me how much they love the M12 and why I'd rather put a boot on it, JD Tico boot, so it looks good. All right, and that's what we're talking about. Oh, let me, let me, I, I, gotta, I gotta say one thing. Listen, I, people can say what they want about Nick Morello, JD Tico. I don't sell out. I had a warehouse call me the other day, not a warehouse, a vendor, let's say. He's like, hey, Nick, I wanna send you some free product, but you can't talk about A. You just gotta talk about B and stop talking about A. I start laughing. Nick's like, what's up? I said, and I put the put on speakerphone. And I'm like, I'm not gonna stop stop doing the Nick show. The Nick show needs to. I need to get the information out to you guys so you guys know what's going on in the tool industry. And I don't care who I piss off. You know what I always say, right? Let the bridges I burn light my way. But there's some bridges I won't burn because I'll be out of business and I'll be out of business, right? Yeah. You gotta be smart too, right? Yeah. We gotta be smart. But we're here to listen. I'm changing the industry one video at a time. Yeah. Can we do a hashtag? Sure. JD Tico, changing the changing the industry one video at a time. All right, I got I got one more quick one, Nick. Yeah. Oh, I think we should give a quick shout out yeah. to CP with the, this tool detailer video. Yeah, listen, guys, I, I, I I'm guilty. I came on YouTube and I might have been a little uh, crass and a little rough around the edges, but I didn't know what I was in for. I thought it was gonna be like peace and harmony. I come out there and I get attacked. And CP CP's no he's no uh, pushover, right? Yeah. So he he came at me. I came at him. He came at me. He, and we were we had a heated battle royal. But you know what? That's good. Because now we're fast friends. We get along fantastically. And I got, I got nothing but respect for the guy. And he did a video on cordless tool detailer. And he bought it. I didn't send it to him for free. I came in. There was an order going out to... I don't want to say his real name. Can I say his real name? Yeah, yeah. Chad. Chad blank, blank, blank. And we sent it out to him. And he did a video. We didn't ask him to do it, but we did. He did a video. And listen, a lot of people on, on YouTube have done videos. And I've done one myself. And they're very popular, and this stuff really does work, so give it a shot. But CP did a video, and I swear to God, on anything holy, I had to shut the computer off three times because I was laughing hysterical. And I'm not going to tell you what he did, but just watch his video. And while you're at it, give him a sub. Because he works hard, he deserves a sub. We're going to put it, a link to the video in the description. Okay, we're gonna put. I don't. Have, I, I. I can't do that shit. But Nick, Nick can do that. I think. And if you're, hey, if you're a CP fan and you're not a sub on my fan, give me a sub. Cause I, me and CP are gonna race to ten. Okay. He and then gets, he'll be on our live stream. Then he's gonna be on our live stream, and I'm gonna ask all the important questions. So get ready. Okay. I'm gonna get nuts. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap this one up because it's Friday. It's been a long day. I've done this three times so far. Three times. I think this is my favorite take. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I thought the other two were okay, but I, this what you say this one's better. I'm happy now. When Nick says I'm, when Nick's happy, I'm happy. All right, guys. Listen, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's Friday. It's late. It's almost five o'clock. Nick has about an hour to get this edited and up. And I don't know what I'm gonna be doing tonight, but it's gonna be to involve a couple of drinks, cocktails, and some uh, live chat, some uh, you know snooping around, see what's going on in the tool industry. Because me, I keep my eyes on the road. All right, guys, listen to me. Like you always say around here, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace.